coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hello? Huh. Looks like we got new toys. What's up guys, this is your own ninja wearing Ava Design Super Real Hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja channel. Specifically, welcome to my new series, Loadout. The series where we take a step away from the studio and go and find out all different kinds of new weapons and tools and see how good it would actually be for your apocalypse or zombie apocalypse loadout. Today, we're actually going outside because we just got a new shipment of our brand new weapons and we're gonna break into the box for the first time all together. Like I said, this is a brand new series on the channel. So if you see any name changes or um, any other like variations or have any ideas for this series, please let me know. But this is a series partly sponsored by uh, Karate Mart, the great people at Karate Mart, because I'm now going to be hosting their Weapons Wednesday channel. So if you see any weapons that you like in this show, go check out their channel to see a full breakdown of all of the weapon details, because in this, I'm not going to go over all of it. I'm just going to showcase the new things I got and give you a rating on whether or not I think it would be really good, a 10 or really bad, a 1 in the zombie apocalypse. So let's get into it. I already did the uh, the hard job of cutting off the initial tape because this thing is super tightly packed, really well done um, because they ship all around the world and you wouldn't want your stuff getting broken. Now today, looks like we have three different things today. So let's let's take it <laughs> let's take it apart one piece at a time, starting with the smallest one. Ooh, ooh, this one is going to be. Brass Knuckles, gonna be a very, uh, a cool mobster-esque vibe. This gives you a lot of power and a lot of like, surprisingly dangerous killing power in each of your strikes when you use it correctly. You can use it for sweeping or striking. This one seems uh, to be used for both, but again, this is this is solid. The problem with the zombie apocalypse on my first uh, thought is gonna be that, here's the thing. If you're fighting zombies, they're either a bloodborne pathogen or, or, or you know, maybe it's a, an airborne pathogen or whatever. You don't want to get super close, right? And this means you have to get close. This is great for dealing with living things, but undead, not really the best. I don't really want to get my fist that close because who knows? If I mess up and they bite my hand, I'm now infected. So uh, as cool as these knuckles are and like don't get me wrong i love them and always check your local laws because here in texas they're legal but they're definitely not legal everywhere um however as cool as they are they're really not great for the uh the zombie apocalypse so i'm gonna put these at a at a one honestly i don't want to get that close under any circumstances we have the medium the medium size <laughs> so Ooh, it's like a pocket knife uh, tomahawk or machete. Man, this is this is cool. This is this is legit. Um, I, again, this kind of is a step in the right direction. It's not a lot of range, but it is a lot more range so that you know I can get the zombies from a distance. The blade is not super big, so I'm not sure I'm gonna be decapitating anything with this or anything like that. But it definitely has a more range, so I can get them from farther away. You can probably end up throwing this pretty well, and I'm probably gonna end up testing that on the uh, on the Karate Mart video. So go check that out. Link down in the description below. Uh, if I scheduled this right, it should be going on at the same time, so both videos are up literally at the same time. Uh, and man like it's just clean like it's super clean and it has like the um oh what's it called ah the the multi-use purpose right so you can use this to chop things apart to to tear up uh firewood to to just use it as a blade right because any blade has a use and the zombie apocalypse uh whether that's cutting things getting cutting rope uh cutting firewood all that stuff so it's definitely better than the brass knuckles it's not the best because it's not the biggest head you're not going to get a lot of damage done to the zombies but as far as a tool it's still really useful and it uh it folds up really nicely to fit in a pocket without actually hurt like the risk of hurting you so you're not going to hurt yourself uh until you pull the blade out just like that and again full review on all of these uh in the description down below but it's it's definitely a solid tool and i would rank it probably up a, 
a three and a half, a four on the zombie apocalypse tools. Um, not the greatest and definitely not the best, but if you have it, it's definitely a solid thing that you should keep as opposed to the brass knuckles that I honestly, I wouldn't even like, maybe I keep them, but like not really. I'm just kind of having for any humans that come by that I may need to deal with. And lastly, the big boy. Ooh, okay. So this definitely looks like some kind of sword or some kind, but it's not a katana, it's really short. Let's unwrap it here. Uh -oh. So this, ooh, it looks, okay, so this is gonna be, ah, oh, wakasashi. This is gonna be a much shorter, uh, still curved, just like a, a, a katana would be. This would be used uh, by samurai, on, kind of as like an offhand blade or a, um, a more, a more like not combat focused blade, but a, a, like a secondary blade that they would often use. And the black, dude, the black is clean, like super clean. That's awesome. I really like that. Um, yeah, that's that's man, that's really nice. And then it has a nice leather sheath. Again, uh, I don't know a ton about this right now. I'm gonna do a full breakdown. I just got this, I had no time to research or test it out. So if you wanna see me do testing and all the uh, the inform about the information about the history and stuff like that, definitely check out the link down below to see the uh, Karate Mart video over there. But man, amazing, very clean. And for a zombie apocalypse, this has the ability, this definitely is gonna have the ability to do, um, some decapitations and so i'm gonna rate it roughly i don't know it's not super long but it's, it's definitely solid especially as a sidearm or as an extra uh blade like to your to your uh secondary to your main so i'm gonna give it a nice seven um seven out of ten six and a half seven out of ten as far as the zombie scale and if you like this series uh definitely let me know down in the comments below um and if you want to see the full info and even some history about these weapons definitely check out the full karate mart video on karate mart again links down in the in the places you know how this all works and thanks for stopping by but until next time my name's dj moore this is the modern ninja and i'm out be the modern ninja but left off just know i'm dangerous I'm on that Bruce Lee flow like water, state of mind Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pin Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim I hit flashing chains while your boy been in the gym Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to